Elmina Diana. Oh, okay, fishing harbor. Yeah, yeah, If with the pictures in Krama Jackson, okay, you know, a year Adiana in here now as I a political promise mm -hmm. to that indigence. Yes, now she how they've gone about it. It might be too late, but it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Several the purpose of that community and ever boa Ghana. The on this note, the ministry, transport ministry led by Ira Kwekwesiam, mm -hmm. and uh, na powerful na chief directors, na regional officers everywhere. I think they've done a great job. Yeah. Fortunately, we, I have visited the place. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so inspiring. Mm -hmm. I, uh, my only concern continues to be the Ghana attitude. See, mm -hmm. maintaining so Nana Akufu Ado on Friday, 27th May, commissioned the 85 million euros Elmina Fishing Port Rehabilitation and Expansion Project in the history city of Elmina. The construction of the biggest fishing harbor in the region has a docking space and deep marine access to ensure the durability and sustainability of the harbor. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And hit that notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we post a video now let's dive into it work on the project commenced i think uh, 2020 august yeah with the objective to boost tourism and the salt industry increasing accessibility of the port and extend the and extend its capacity to improve the fishing industry in elimina and the central region the facility comes with marine and civil infrastructure including a south brick waters of 450 meters in length with cubic poles round head and a north brick waters of 160 meters in length tied into the existing sea defense this comes with a large basin of 65,000 cubic meters which stretch, which stretch depth between three meters to five meters, and quay walls of total length of 400 meters, including an 80 meter touristic quay at the Elmina Castle. This magnificent facility has an administration block with offices and a viewing deck, a new fishing market a net mending area, auction hall, an ablution facility, toilet, and a bay, sorry, a daycare center, and a daycare structure for toddlers. Significant marine and civil works went into the project executed by Bell Sea Limited, with the International Marine and Dredging Consultant being the consulting engineers. Commissioning the facility as a colorful ceremony, the president of Ghana said he uh, commended the chiefs and the people of Elimina and various contractors for operating to work assiduously to meet various operational requirements. He said the facility represented a significant milestone in empowering the people through job creation to complement the work of the Takrade and Temahabo. The president said the fisheries sector contributed about 11% of the Ghana's GDP and 30% of the country's workforce, directly and indirectly, and gave assurance that other landing beaches strategically positioned along the coastal stretch of Ghana were at various stages of completion. This includes the landing beach at Mumford, Winneba, Senya uh, Brekum, Gumwafete uh, uh, in the central region, as well as the Teshi and Jamestown in the greater Accra region, and also Keta Port in the Volta region. The central regional minister and the person of Mrs. Justina Marigold Asan also added that fishes in this industry remain a key contributor to the growth of Ghana's economy, providing food security, alleviating poverty, health, 
and jobs, with 70% of the people in the region engaging in fishing and farming, she was very, very hopeful that the facility would ease the unemployment challenges in the area and improve their livelihoods along the 138 coastlines. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Also check our other videos for more impressive news like this. Thank you. Bye bye.